Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's find out how to utilize that Thevenin's theorem methodology to solve circuits like this. Again, they need to be linear circuits. Notice that linear circuits has a voltage source and a current source, a number of resistors, and then attached to that is the load resistor. Let's say that the load resistor is equal to, let's call it 5 amps, or I should say 5 ohms. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the current I through the low resistor. To do that, we need to turn the circuit, the linear circuit, into a Thevenin circuit. And to do that, we need to find the Thevenin's resistance and the Thevenin's voltage. To find the Thevenin's resistance, we're first going to remove the load resistor, and then with what's remaining, we're going to remove the current source and short out the voltage sources. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Remove our sub L. Then we're going to take away the current source, so that will be an open, and then we'll short out the voltage source. And the circuit will then look as follows. Let's put it over here. So we have a short where the voltage source was. We still have the 4 ohm resistor. We still have the 12 ohm resistor. The current source is now missing, so we have an open there. And we still have the 1 ohm resistor over here. And then we have the attachments here. That's where the load resistor would go. Let's put in the values of these resistors. We have the 4 ohm resistor, we have the 12 ohm resistor, and we have the 1 ohm resistor. The resistance of that, what's remaining, that will be the Thevenin's resistance. Notice that we go from A to B, from one end to the other in the circuit. This is in series. These are two in parallel, so let's turn this into a single resistor. Since they're in parallel, the resistance here would be the product of the sum. 4 times 12 is 48. 4 plus 12 is 16. 48 divided by 16 is 3. So these two resistors can be replaced by a single 3 ohm resistor. The circuit then becomes the following. We have the 1 ohm resistor. We have then the 3 ohm resistor and back to here. So 1 ohm, the 4 and the 12 combined become a 3 ohm resistor which then turns into a single resistor, since those two are in series, add them together, and you get a 4 ohm resistor. That is the Thevenin's resistance. This is our Thevenin. All right, now we've gotten half of the problem. We've got the resistance. Now we need to find the voltage across the open. What we're going to do to find the Thevenin voltage, again, we remove the low resistor, and then we try to find the voltage across what's remaining by keeping the voltage source and the current source in the circuit. Let's go ahead and do that and see what we get. So the circuit becomes as follows. We still have the voltage source in there. We have the 4 ohm resistor. We have the 12 ohm resistor. So this is plus minus 32 volts. 4 ohms, 12 ohms. And we still have the 2 amp current source and we have the 1 ohm resistor here. And what is the voltage Thevenin across here? That's what we're trying to find. How do we do that? Well, we can go ahead and use a node analysis method. Uh, let's take this node right here. Notice that there's no current flowing through this appendage right here, so the 1 ohm resistor just sits there and carries no current. The current is only in these two meshes right here. So we have a current coming in this direction. Let's call this I1. We have a current leaving that. Let's call it I2. And we have a current entering here. Let's call that I3. And using Kirchhoff's rules on currents at a node, we can say that all the currents Entering the node must equal all the currents leaving the node, which means I1 plus I3, those are both entering, must equal I2, which is leaving the node. Now going ahead and replacing what those are equal to, I1 will be the difference between this voltage right here. So let's say that this is the voltage we're looking for. Notice that this voltage will be the same as the voltage over there. And this voltage here will be the same as the voltage over there. So this will, in essence, become the Thevenin voltage because it's the same as the voltage across the gap there. Remember, there's no current flowing to the 1 ohm resistor, like, so it's like it's not even there. 32 volts minus V Thevenin. 32 minus V Thevenin. 
divided by the resistance between the two, which is 4, that will be the current I1, plus current I3, which is a 2 amp current entering that node, plus 2, equals the current I2, which is the current from this location to here. That will be the voltage difference, which is V Tevenin, divided by the resistance, which is 12. All I have to do now is solve that equation for the Thevenin voltage. I can do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by 12. When I do that, 4 goes into 12 3 times. 3 times 32 is 96, minus 3 times Thevenin voltage, 3V Thevenin, plus 2 times 12, which is 24, equals the 12 cancel out, I get voltage Thevenin. When I move all the voltage Thevenin over to one side, Let's come over here and continue. So minus 3 goes the other side, becomes plus 3 plus Thevenin voltage, which is 4 times voltage Thevenin. And then on the left side, 96 plus 24, that's 120. And that means that V Thevenin is equal to 120 divided by 4, which is equal to 30 volts. So now I have the Thevenin resistance, and I have the Thevenin voltage. I can now go ahead and draw the equivalent circuit. This whole circuit can now be replaced by a single voltage source, which is the Thevenin voltage, V Thevenin, and a single resistor, which is the R Thevenin. Now, R Thevenin is going to be 4 ohms, and V Thevenin is going to be equal to 30 volts. And now to that, we add the load resistor. Oh, now we'll go ahead and add it like this. And we said that the load resistor RL is equal to 5 ohms. And now we're ready to find the current, because the current is now easy to find. The current I is equal to V divided by the total resistance. That will be the Thevenin voltage of 30 volts divided by the total resistance of 4 plus 5 ohms. And 30 divided by 9. 30 divided by 9 equals 3.33 amps. 3.33 amps. And that would be the current going through the load resistor. Notice how easy it makes the problem. All we have to do is convert our linear circuit into the Thevenin circuit by finding the Thevenin's resistance and the Thevenin's voltage. The method again to find the Thevenin resistance is remove the, the, the load resistor we remove any current sources and we short out any voltage sources. Then we calculate the resistance of the remaining circuit. That becomes the Thevenin resistance. And for the voltages, we remove the load resistor. And then we solve for the Thevenin voltage using whatever method is convenient. At this point, it was convenient to use the node analysis method. We found this to be the voltage, the same voltage as the Thevenin voltage. We add all the currents that enter and all the currents that leave set equal to all the currents that leave, and we solve for the Thevenin voltage that way. Once you have the equivalent circuit, the rest is really easy, and that's how it's done.